One trait I notice among Sproni and or Pega sisters is a general love of animation that transcends oceans. Yes, most Sproni seem to be, to some degree, anime fans as well. So with that idea in mind, I thought it would be good to use my experience in anime to recommend several series tailor-made for fans of Friendship is Magic, Femidations. To start off, I chose a series that deconstructs a typically girly associated genre of, well, Magical Girl. A show that incorporated tragic and dark elements with plenty of twists and because of which has become one of the highest rated anime in its genre and one of my personal favorite series of all time. Of course, I'm talking about Princess Tutu. What, we're expecting something else? May those who accept their fate be granted happiness. May those who defy it be granted glory. Princess Tutu is a series originally released back in 2002 in Japan and is a tale of struggles against characters' fate, beliefs, and feelings on a twisted journey to a hopefully happily ever after. It follows young ballerina Duck, yes Duck, who is known for her clumsiness and bird brain behavior, but she can't really help it as she is a duck, literally. The mysterious manipulative Drossemeyer transformed Duck into a human girl to catalyze the end of a story. To that end, Duck was granted the ability to transform into Princess Tutu to collect and return the shards of a prince's heart that was shattered to seal away an evil raven. However, is this what is best for the prince? For a heart is a heavy burden. I know that doesn't seem too unique or praiseworthy, but greatness awaits in the details I dare not spoil. Long story short, Princess Tutu is a series that what we professionals like to call has a lot of give a buck. The creators of the series really loved it and gave 110% because like with Friendship is Magic, there is no one element that makes the series great but several working in cohesion from the animation, story, and characters, voice acting, and a brilliant score. Now please give back Muto and his heart. No. <laughs> Though Princess Tutu sounds cliche from the summary, it is in fact one of the most unique and complicated anime series ever created. Tutu also questions what defines anime as anime. When we think anime, we usually think Japan and Japanese culture, but Princess Tutu arguably has more Western influences in its production. The scores are famous European ballet pieces, the internal folklore is directly based off of or inspired by classic European tales, and the art direction, particularly the backgrounds, seem lifted straight from my brother's Grimm storybook. This leads to Princess Tutu feeling more authentic to Western fairy tales than even Disney's adaptations. However, the two aspects that truly set Tutu apart are its plot and characters. Princess Tutu's narrative is surprisingly complex for any series actually, let alone one targeted for young girls, as it's filled with more twists than M. Night's career, and unlike M. Night, it's actually a good thing. So I'll try to keep it as spoiler free as I proceed, there will be surprise after surprise for you to look forward to, but structured in a logical progression that does not leave you confused. The details of every action are filled with hidden depth, and like Game of Thrones, no one's plans, good or evil, will always go according to, well, plan, as another character's natural development throws a wrench in the works. It gives the story a very dynamic feel. The audience and our own plans are no exception from this either. Princess Tutu reaches its expected main arc's end, the one you sort of piece together in the first few episodes, at the halfway point. Almost to the point I get the feeling their team was concerned that they wouldn't get a second act. However, they do. And that's where things get complicated in an amazing way. Again, I won't dare go into spoiler territory. The second half can best be summarized as, is there such a thing as happily ever after? The second act has a much darker tone with actual conspiracies, as in secret society kind. Erdile in Wiedercraft. The 
This leaves Princess Tutu as one of the most surprisingly mature shows out there in terms of what it expects the audience to process and understand. And it's about ballet. One aspect enhancing the more mature tone is the depth of characterization that is some of the best for any show, period. Remember how I said the story was reborn halfway through the series? Yeah, so are the main cast characterization arcs. At the halfway or season one point in anime terms, Duck, Krahi, Mitho, Rue, and Falkir have their character developmental arcs come to a close and start anew. Unfortunately, most anime and shows in general only get around to having their protagonists go through a full developmental arc. A few good ones have several support characters go through the arcs as well. Friendship is Magic is an exception to this in a great way, and so is Princess Tutu. Tutu has all the main cast go through two developmental arcs in a complementary fashion that squares their character depth and essence. Haha! -ha! The button has been doubled! In short, Princess Tutu is a series where good becomes evil, evil becomes good, over and over again, yet all in a believable manner built around the characters' personalities. Okay. Princess Tutu is a great series. Why am I recommending it specifically to bronies? Well, there are a lot of similarities in tones and concepts. Heck, just compare how both the series open. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there were two regal sisters who ruled together and created harmony for all the land. To do this, the eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun at dawn. The younger brought out the moon to begin the night. Thus, the two sisters maintained balance for their kingdom and their subjects, all the different types of ponies. Once upon a time, there was a man who died. The man's work was the writing and telling of stories, but he could not defy death. The last story he was working on was about a brave and handsome prince who vanquishes a crafty raven. But now, it seems their battle will go on for eternity. I'm sick and tired of this, cried the raven. I'm sick and tired of this, cried the prince as well. Princess Tutu and Friendship is Magic are essentially trying to redefine girl shows in their own way by deconstructing the stereotypes and tropes of said genres by applying depth. Life lessons are also an important aspect as each heart chart has attached itself to a broken and or damaged heart that needs to be fixed. Though these lessons are often much more mature and, and grim side to them compared to MLP. I'm going to say death is almost mentioned in every single episode. Besides Tono's themes, there's also several familiar character constructs as well. For instance, Duck's trio is very similar to CMC. I have four left feet. I can't even spin right. Don't be silly. You just gotta keep your head forward until the very last minute, like this. See? Easy peasy. You just gotta practice a bunch, that's all. Uh... Tuck your chin in. <laughs> oh, it's no laughing matter. If you can't even do that, then you'll never get off probation. Stop it! Now be reasonable. Duck simply isn't capable of doing two things at once. All she has to do is walk with a book on her head. If it's something so simple she can't do it, she simply can't. Then she'll never be a prima ballerina. The main antagonist for most of the series is Princess Krahi, which shares a lot of similarities to Nightmare Moon in her backstory relationship to Princess Tutu, which shares a lot of similarities to Nightmare Moon's relationship with Celestia with her relationship to Princess Tutu. Both Nightmare Moon and Krahi felt cursed to be in the shadows of others and eventually embraced the darkness to take what they feel fate robbed from them. Who is Krahi? <gasps> Back here! Be gone, you ugly crow! I alone am the true prima donna, Princess Krahi. I'll take what I desire by force if need be. 
Craigie is a sort of villain where you know what they're doing is wrong, but you still sympathize with her feelings and why she's doing it. Though Craigie is not the most familiar villain for MLP fans. Let me introduce you to Drosselmeyer. You haven't forgotten about me already, have you? It feels strange out here. <laughs> Do you want to know? Well, do you? Honestly, no. <laughs> Little duck. <laughs> Drosselmeyer was an author gifted with the ability to rewrite reality for his amusement as he crafts tales of dread for others. Very good, very good. The sprouting of a new seed of calamity, the deepening mystery, and to the duck who chose the path of suffering and tragedy goes a hearty round of applause. <laughs> Sounds familiar? Yeah, it's pretty much Discord. From odd idiosyncrasies, aesthetics, narrative views, and an odd puppet fetish. And we get 26 episodes of his shenanigans and manipulations. So essentially, 26 episodes of Discord. Put simply, yes. <laughs> Princess Tutu is a great series, but not for everyone. It's one of those I, I would label for the arts animes that revolves around one art form and how it can completely change everyone's outlook on lives. And since this series is based around ballet, yeah, that will put some people off. So if you can't handle most fights ending with Dance with me. Please come dance with me. Please dance with me. Please come and dance with me. Though I will say most dancing in this series turns into magical duels. And since most bronies are fine with liking a series whose title is My Little Pony, I don't see outside aesthetics being too off-putting. So I urge you to give this series a try. It's available from many different sources, including, but not limited to, Netflix, Hulu, or by getting the DVD box set on Amazon at a very low price. Besides supporting the series by buying the DVDs, you also get access to one of my favorite aspects of mid-2000 dubbed anime, the blooper reel. My prince, stop! You mustn't take it! Oh. Ah! Hey, how about Travolta back in the day? Stay in the lab! Oh no, when I lost my heart, all my pain receptors were blocked too. Were you just calling for Muto? Uh, yeah. You need something? Yeah, I need your boyfriend. She appeared and touched me. The same place where I touched you? Bitch. I love that so much. Either way, there are multiple high quality free and legal distributions free to give the series a taste. Princess Tutu may seem very generic magical girl show from the outside, in the same way that Friendship is Magic might have seen very generic from the outside in. But this series, to put it in perspective, has more in common with Black Swan than it does Sailor Moon. Till next time, keep calm and an open mind. It's been a week since Mytho stopped coming to class. Fakir, too. What the heck are they thinking? Well, it's not like you can ever tell what Mytho's thinking anyway. <laughs> <laughs>